Hey Canva Tip Weekly, we are now moving into a series that I'm going to call Design With Me or Watch Me Design or Cool Design Things with Olivia. I don't know, let me know in the comments what I should name it. But for the next couple of videos, I'm going to be doing practical Canva application, meaning I'm going to be designing Instagram posts, reels, covers for things, uh, maybe newsletters. Let me know what you'd like to visually see me design. And I'm going to use all of the tips and tricks that I have been doing uh, throughout Canva Tip Weekly to show you how to actually apply and make things in Canva. Today, I'm going to be setting up a portfolio reel in Canva for Instagram Reels. This is what it's going to look like. Ooh, we have a nice moving background, stable text. I'm scrolling through something. This doesn't just have to be for designers or writers or, or whoever. I bet as a small business that you have something, whether it's an ebook or a course or a favorite blog post that you did, or maybe you just want to show off your services page or show off something that you did. This can be for anything. So think about what you could highlight and take those applications, take that lead magnet, take that ebook, take that blog post and show it in a reel. It's a great way to cross over the, um, the video <laughs> component of Instagram and what you do. So this was an example and I'm going to, personally I'm going to do a website because I'm gonna uh, get two things done with one video. Uh, so I have duplicated this and it's called Website Reel. The way you record things, at least on a, a Mac, I don't have a Windows computer so I can't test this, but on a Mac it's going to be Shift Command 5 which is going to bring up a screen recording window for you to see. This is going to be a screen recording, so you can actually record your screen, just like you would take a screenshot. This is a video recording. So I'm going to cancel out of that. I'm gonna come over here to the thing that I want to record. I'm going to remove my video just for a second. Shift Command 5, I'm going to make this really, uh, this right here, and I actually cover it so that I have a little bit of space down here. I'm going to hit the record button, and then I'm going to actually use my arrow on my keyboard to record this really beautiful website. It's not the smoothest thing, but it is the easiest thing. So once I'm done, I'm going to hit shift command five again and stop my screen recording and then turn me back on. Ta-da! <laughs> once you've done that, this video saves to your computer. This is what it looks like. Check this out. Yay! So here is a screen recording of a website that I did. I do brand and website design as well as Canva Tip Weekly. So if you are in need of either of those things, let me know. So in this video, I have a background video that serves sort of as a texture. Um, my favorite is, of course, they used to be called Social Motion Packs. They have rebranded to be called Paxia. Um, Paxia? 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 I haven't actually heard them pronounce it. So uh, I highly, highly recommend. I'm going to come over here to Motion Packs, and I'll put a link in the uh, notes here. For this brand in particular, I love these sort of dreamy flowers because that's sort of the aesthetic for the brand that I made. I'm going to choose this one and download it. And because I am the queen of organization, I am of course going to save it in my Olivia folder, my stock folder, my videos, because don't use your downloads folder as one giant thing, you guys. I'm going to come over to this website reel. I have a folder for all of the videos that I have. Yay. I'm going to pull that open and then drag that video over here. I am then going to wait patiently and not throw my phone across the room and drink. We wait while we hydrate. Awesome. I also need to, while that's going, uh, open up the video that I just screen recorded. Do as I say, not as I do. I know this is a nightmare. Look at all the screen recordings that I have. Yikes. All right, so I'm going to drag that over here as well. So now I've got that uploading. I didn't mean to put it in videos, but here we are. So I'm gonna drag this video to my artboard. I'm going to right click and replace background. It's gorgeous. Now you can reframe or resize video. So I'm gonna double click. I'd actually like for the flowers to be filling up my screen a little bit more. 
Additionally, I'm not gonna use this iPad. I'd actually like for this to be a computer. So I'm going to come over to Elements and I'm gonna scroll down to Frames. And I really want it to be this computer here. Don't forget that you can change the color of these. You are not beholden to them. So I'm actually gonna change that to my brand. Uh, I don't know what I want that to be actually. Maybe this like pink and I'll go crazy. And I want everything else to be this dark green. No, let's let the whole thing be dark green. That's kind of cool. Yeah, awesome. Then over here in videos, I'm going to move my video recording and I actually hate that now. So now I'm gonna make it maybe white or maybe this cream color. Yeah, that's less offensive, don't we think? In black, we're just gonna make this honestly much better now when i hit play i can actually crop this as well so you can see there's some like dead space so don't forget you can crop video so i'm gonna obviously start my video where i start scrolling then i'm gonna stop at about right here you don't want reels to be well i think i don't know i'm not the social media queen i don't know anything um but i think 15 seconds is kind of where you want to be so here we are. I'm also going to take my video and I'm going to increase the transparent or make it less weight, more transparent because I don't want the flowers to be so overwhelming. I think I'd rather those just be like my nice brand green. So now I'm going to change this to be new site launch. Um, Squarespace web design. I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna click position, and I'm going to hit middle. Okay, now let's see what it looks like by hitting the play button. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Very pretty, I love it, looks great. So there you go, that's how you make a quick portfolio reel. This could also work by screen recording your phone. Maybe you wanna show something. This doesn't just have to be for designers. Again, show off a course, show off a lead magnet. You can see in this one, this is actually a Canva document. This is a how to use your logo guide that is in my shop um, that I'm showing off all the great stuff that's inside of it. Perhaps you are somebody who's in education. Maybe show off one of your lectures or one of your resources or something that you've written. This is a great way to record your screen and to not show your face on Reels if you don't want to, but also a great way to get on that feed. So here are two different examples. Alrighty, let me know how you're gonna use this in the comments and let me know what you'd like to watch me design next. Thanks guys.